Good morning. I am on a boat. I'm in my bathroom. I am in the Bahamas and I'm with my friends Christina and John and one of their Patreons, Braxton. And we're doing a sailing trip for a few days, which I'm really excited about. I went to Greece last year with Christina and John. I have a whole video about that. I'll leave that link down below. But I just finished getting ready this morning. This is my natural, messy, beachy, unbrushed unwashed hair. I went swimming yesterday and I told myself on this trip I wasn't going to bring any hair products. I was just going to go all natural, let the salt do its thing. And this is the, the mess that I have. So I'm going to clip part of it up, but I have a quite wavy, curly, frizzy hair. And today the sun was just out, but I feel like it's kind of gone away. We were on our way to go and see some stingrays, which I'm really excited about. Yesterday was super rainy. So we went to a pig beach, which was so adorable. And we saw some little pigs. They are really cute, but they do kind of bite. Like Christina's arm almost got bitten at one point. And the day before that I flew in and we just sort of had a very chill afternoon. It is going to be a little rainy on this trip, but doesn't matter it's hot I'm going swimming I'm having an adventure and it's so much fun so I am gonna head out and show you where we're going before I go anywhere I thought I would do a little bathroom tour it's very very cute in here this is the little shower that I have there's a little window to outside and they're putting down the anchor which is that noise that you can hear but this is the little bathroom and then this is my little bedroom it's a bit of a mess it was really cute when I got here I filmed it I'll put it in and I'll show you very, very cute. Uh, but this is my little bedroom. It is so hot. I don't need a blanket. I just sort of sleep just with a top sheet and that's about it. And I really should clean up and maybe organize in here a little bit, but you spend barely any time down here. Anyway, that's very noisy. I'm gonna go up now. There's also a full length mirror on the back of the door, which I love. So I definitely packed really well for this trip, but to be honest, I could have brought even less because this is the outfit that I am going to wear 90% of the time. It's a bikini that I got from Cotton On back in Australia. And then I just grabbed this wraparound sarong from H&M the other day. And this is the outfit. This is what I will wear all day, every day. And I probably could have packed everything into a tote bag and not even a suitcase. And on top of that, I could have brought less makeup because I'm not even using my eyeshadow palette. So. Uh, now that I know that, next time I'll be able to pack a little bit more efficiently. This is our kitchen and living space. Good morning, Christina. Oh, good morning, Rachel. I'm so excited to be here. I know, we're about to go to This is so good, but this is beautiful. The stingray is like just, uh, they might be under the sand, like just chilling under the sand. Shuffle. Yeah, you see my shuffle. You don't wanna you don't wanna stand up. incredible the sun has just gone behind a cloud but it is so warm the water is so warm and the stingrays are so friendly i don't know where they've gone they're around there's actually a shark right there very cool a couple of sharks and a stingray this one's my favorite he's the best never it's kind of like you know how dogs do it yeah they're like, they're, they're like puppies. They're like puppies. <gasps> I didn't realize there was another one on the other side of my leg. Oh, they got me at the same time. I did not realize that. <laughs> this is the best. I am so relaxed. The sun is making me so happy. The water is so warm. The stingrays are adorable. They're like puppies and you get to pet them and they're really, really cute. They're a little scary, but very, very cute. There's also a few sharks in there that are a little more scary than the stingrays, but again, really beautiful. I would love to touch a shark, but I'm not that game. I feel like that's pushing it too far, but there's lots of little fish as well. And this is just so beautiful over here. We're back on the boat. We're making breakfast and we're gonna head off because we're gonna go and see some turtles really, really soon. for you guys. It's a late start. A late start. Normally we have our coffee by now. Yeah, it's like 10, yeah. 
What am I doing? What? Like, why? What am I doing? <laughs> I got a giant jug of water. Oh. No! I was just filming. Like, oh, I was just okay. like, oh, filming. It was a so time lapse like, and I ruined it. No, no, no. It's not a time lapse. I was just filming. Like, maybe it could be a time lapse. Maybe it could be whatever. I just had it there. That's so good. I was good. like, I don't even know if you can see what I was doing in that. No! Oh my god. Anyway. We are just making some breakfast. You guys know Christina. You've met her before. We keep on meeting on boats. We keep meeting on boats. <laughs> and well, in prison at the beginning of the year, I think it's so cool that we did our vision boards for the year together. And then, you know, five months later, we're here on a boat. Because we put boats on our vision board. That is so crazy. We did. We did. Yeah. And it's so cool that it's like all coming together. But yeah, Christina and I met, what, five, six years ago now? Has it been that long? Something like that. It was in 2018. Wow. It was a night at an event and we met. Here we are all this time later. So we're in the Bahamas, yeah. obviously you guys know that. We're on board a really big, I don't know how to describe it. It's essentially like a floating home. Yeah, there's four bedrooms, four bathrooms. Yeah, we each. And this massive like area up here to live in, cook in, everything. Um, it has all the creature comforts, microwave, blender, coffee machine. All so stuff, it really so feels like a home, hey? It does, it's amazing, this is incredible. It's so beautiful. Upstairs is like beautiful as well. John's up there at the moment, he's manning everything because we are on the way to see turtles. We've got some eggs and we're making grits. And Christina, John, and I have never had them before, so this is going to be an interesting experience. Breakfast is served. About to head out again, and we're just picking out some fins and some snorkels. I'm going with these yellow ones because they fit me. To pick some goggles. Yeah, I don't know. How do you know what's a good one? <laughs> what's a good one? I mean, they're probably that's... all pretty similar, but what you smart. do, Rach, is you fit them to your face and you suck them through your nose yeah. and you see if it, and you hang your head down, you see if it stays on. Like, hang on. Yeah. How do we do it? Yeah, and then just take like a breath through your nose and do you, do you feel like a seal? Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, if I like, yeah. I pour makeup's on the inside of that now. Oops, oh, sorry. It's all right. I'm gonna see. Oh, this is like a little one. Ooh. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that yeah. fits you perfectly. We just had a little snorkel. Didn't see any turtles, but we've decided we're going to use the paddles and uh, just kind of, I don't know, look around and see if we can find some turtles. And uh, yeah, you guys are doing the right thing. I really should put my shirt back on and protect my shoulders. Back on board, Christina's making a smoothie. We've had some snacks, and now we're just uh, heading off to the next place, which we're a little undecided on. We'll be arriving in the next five minutes at Joe Anchorage. Braxton and I were just discussing the merits of having dinner on the boat prior to sunset and finishing off with a beverage on the beach, looking over the <laughs> sea of Abacare, watching the sunset melt into the horizon. What say you? John is too good at that. Oh, this looks so good. Thank you for cooking. Tomato. Tomato. Uh, Rachel's like it, okay. uh, no, mine's a blue one. Braxton was oblivious. These. Because yeah. I said peppers tomato. and tomato. <laughs> <laughs> Christina's actually like, green one. Yeah. Yeah. It is mine. Peppers and tomato. Okay, Capsicum and tomato. Yeah. All right. 
let's dig in on a better good morning oh my god it is so hot today i am so ready to get in the water we're going diving again which now i realize I really shouldn't have done my makeup this morning because i'm gonna be straight back in the water diving yesterday was incredible i had so much fun and we're going off to i think maybe two more reefs today we're at this place called scotland bay I think it's Scotland Bay. We're gonna head that way and we're gonna go right now. But also, oh my God, look at my hair. <laughs> this is my natural hair after I like get it wet with the salt water a couple times. So I'm, I'm sure by the end of the trip, it's gonna be even more wild, but it makes me wanna wear my hair natural more often because it's so cool. Anyway, we need to do sunscreen and we need to pack all the gear and get in the tender, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, this little boat here, that's the tender. We drop it into the water and then we can leave the big boat here and take that to the beach or to the reef or wherever we need to go. My makeup has gone everywhere. It was a bad idea to put makeup on this morning. Uh, we just went for a dive. We're back because there's a bit of a storm. <laughs> just a bit of a storm. It's not, it's not too bad really, guys. We actually saw a, yeah, we ended up seeing a twister, like a water spout, which was really cool off in the distance. Two of them? Two, two water spouts? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, pills. <laughs> One pill. We can take a seasick tablet because it's gonna get like rough up in here. But yeah, that was fun. Just made some lunch. We've got some wraps with sardines, tomatoes, cucumbers, capsicum, lettuce, and some cream cheese, and then a slice of cheese. We've also got some sriracha sauce. And then Christina also made us a smoothie as well. And it just started raining. And we were gonna sail into the storm, but now we've decided we're just gonna sit and wait it out. We've made it to Hopetown and we've come out for a little bit of a walk. Christina's on the boat doing some work, but we've just walked over to the beach and it is so, so cute here. It is starting to rain. This cottage is so cute, but it is now really, really raining. We've just stopped up on a little balcony. I hope we're allowed to be here, but we're hopefully going to wait it out a little. We're on the move again. That's the ice cream shop. Are we going to get ice cream later? Yeah. Yeah, I want ice cream. This is really cute. Oh, look, there's a store. Some bags. It's on the menu. Hamburger, bacon cheeseburger. Oh, that sounds good. Nuggets. French fries. French fries. I need a comp burger. That sounds That's good. like that's proper dinner. Marsh Harbour here and there's the airport you flew into mm -hmm. and then we went on the first day we sailed up to um, Grand Guana Key and then we sailed out, uh, out through here around Wild Key in and then we went to Pig Beach which was there and then we anchored in Coco Bay um, and then we uh, I think it was Coco Bay maybe Ray K maybe no that's the one and then we went that's where the stingrays were and then we came back down we sailed all the way back to uh, Grand Guana and then today we've come all the way down to Hopetown oh, cool. the lighthouses yeah then tomorrow we'll go down to Tahiti Beach which is a sandbar and then probably back to Manawar Key and then back to Marsh Harbour nice. We just went into a little gift store and I got this fridge magnet. If you watched my Texas Austin vlog and my Montreal vlog, I mentioned that wherever I travel, I get little fridge magnets and I give them to my mom whenever I go home. And we've got a pretty good collection so far. We did lose a bunch in the fires a couple of years ago, but I've restarted the collection in the last year and it's really cool. We've made it to the lighthouse. Hey John, what's the lighthouse story again? Wow the last kerosene 
and manual powered lighthouse in the world. Apparently it's 150 years old. It's very cute. I like it. We're gonna go up and have a look. You can go all the way to the top and go like have a little bit of a lookout. It's cone hole. Very popular in Canada. It's so much fun. You have to stand, I think, behind the edge and you have to throw it and try to get it in the hole and you have teams and it's a really fun summer game and you have some drinks and like a barbecue and you just have fun summer. I literally, I stopped recording as well when you got it in so no one saw it. No one saw it. Yeah, if it's not on the internet, did it really happen? <laughs> it is so beautiful up here and the temperature is quite nice. It's a little hot, but the breeze when it comes through makes everything really nice. Perfect, get a leg workout for today. This is the kerosene boilers. Okay, kerosene boilers, this is cool. And then the lines are going to the to the line. So cool. And then yeah. that pressurizes it, but Oh yeah. Yeah. Like rudimentary, it really is Yeah, it's really cool. It's another window. Now we've got some more stairs. Those last few steps are so steep. I had to put my phone away. Look at it in here. This is so cool. This is gonna be a great Polaroid. Going to get ice cream. New to coconut. They got, um, I think, berry and yogurt. I don't know what I feel like. Probably some chocolate. Something chocolate, I would say. <laughs> I don't remember what flavor I got. What flavor did you guys get? Butter pecan. Butter pecan. Pecan. <laughs> pecan. <laughs> pecan. Sorry, but I think the three Aussie accents override the one American in this uh, instance. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pecan. Did you okay. guys get that Dolce caramel one? I did. This is like a yeah Dolce caramel or something. Dolce what did delicious. What did yeah, you get? Dolce delicia. What does it taste Dolce? like? It's great. It's really creamy. What'd you get? Like, um, I got butter pecan as well. Nice. Mm. It tastes like... A little bit like condensed milk? Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Good morning. I got dressed and I somehow, with like seven buttons, managed to put my shorts on inside out. I was going to put my hand in my pocket and I realized I can't. So, great start today, but honestly, check out this view. Hopetown and we're heading down to a little place called Tahiti Beach and it is a spectacular day. I think this is the most blue sky we've seen on this trip. We've made it. This is Tahiti Beach and it's like a beautiful sandbar out there. I don't know if it's uh, showing up that well on the camera but we're gonna head out over there. We have another Navigare boat right with us which is so cool. Beautiful looking boats, very similar to this one. just got back from a little dive all the gear is washed off and now out the front we're getting the fenders ready because we're gonna head back to Marsh Harbor so these are the fenders and they have to go off over the side of the boat so that the boat doesn't hit oh god I almost fell over but anyways these protect the side of the boat they go over the top yep and then go over the top and then under so it looks like an X sort of yeah and then you go through up in here yeah. and what the great thing about this line is that if you need to um, bring up and down the fender you can just give it more oh come on man <laughs> that's ain't nothing they can do this while they're sleeping <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I got it. 
We're on our way to get some conch salad. Also, I think my hair has finally gotten into the groove of like its waves. I think it's figured itself out. And it's sad because it's the last day. It's actually so cool to see when it's out on the map, isn't it? It's amazing. 